chilling on the handbag. Ew. <laughs> that is our view. We are currently chilling on the handbag. Ew! What's what's happening up there? What's up? Uh, the usual. Uh, well, it's pretty good. <laughs> Just chilling in my hammock. Ew! <laughs> is the camera facing you? Yeah. No, it's full on me. Reconnecting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think this is a better view. Oh yeah, now you get to see all the real stuff. Check that out. And this, kind of like a difficult choice in what to gaze at. Like, you know, the ocean, the mountains, oh, it's amazing. And comfortable. Have it. What more do you need? It's crazy. <laughs> mm. He's so high right now. <laughs> like at least two meters off the ground. <laughs> What's it like up there in the handbag? That's very, very good. It is, Can you tell me the story? Oh, by the way, this is the Get Rich Show. Welcome to the Get Rich Show. This is our office for the day. Currently filming on the GoPro Hero 8. GoPro, we need the 9, please. You just got the Max, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Thanks, GoPro. <laughs> the reason he got sponsored is because he's been on a journey all over the world creating a product called the handbag. You the handbag. This is, <laughs> this is the handbag. Look, he even made a chasing Africa version. If you can look under there. And oh, wait, coming wait, you can flip it on oh no you flip it onto your lap. Oh there we go. That's and it makes a good little sick. table as well. Right. Oh cool that's a table. Oh that's how it works. <laughs> I mean, like, how so this is the chasing Africa handbag. I've got my water in here. I've got my phone and stuff here and uh, got my tootsies over here with the handbag. Look at that. Boom. And um, hey Dylan, Yo. can you tell me the story of how handbag was created <laughs> from the beginning? Well, uh, I was from like Byron Bay road trips. So like we always did road trips from Sydney up to Byron Bay, which is in Australia, the east coast of Australia, um, very similar to east coast in South Africa here. And we always travelled and I picked up one of my mates, Tom, uh, and he had nothing, just his hammock. And every morning we'd be on this road trip and we'd chuck out the beers, the soccer ball, uh, split up everything, use it as a sack, walk down to the beach, lay it as a mat, go for swims. Then he uses a towel after swim, nighttime uses a blanket, and then like this hammock was easily the like easily the MVP of the trip. The hammock was like the greatest thing. And then we just kept using it. I was like, okay, we need to make this into a thing. And then we came up with a few ideas. We actually went to the best person that we knew that could sew, which was his mum. Uh, and she helped us come up with a few prototypes. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Say and, that again. Yeah, his his mum helped us come up with a few prototypes. And we used, uh, yeah, I used um, my, taking mine backpacking over Europe, back um, New Zealand, like camping, hiking, doing everything over Australia, like Asia, e everywhere. I and mean, people were trying to buy it off me. And I'm like, it's 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 my bag. Don't don't try. It's mine. He's and then right here. <laughs> and then yeah, then since then we just started, yeah, making it, getting um, yeah, that's it. That was like five years ago, and now we got prototypes made different samples and we're here we're in this state of the art like we've optimized as much as we can it's we're constantly developing it and this is this is the one we've got today 2021 and this one is called the handbag pro and how do we find the handbag pro look at that thing look how it's chilling right there that's the jingle right there. I just sang it. <laughs> no, I can't. I really wish I could. Oh, I want to swing. Oh, oh, swing. I thought you said sing. No, can you sing? No, I but can't. I also want to swing. 
Yeah, swing. Yeah, swing is definitely <laughs> capable. <laughs> Hopefully, can... this thing doesn't fall on me because that would. Uh, no, it, 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 that would it, fucking hurt. Uh, yeah, it would, it would suck. <laughs> oh, wait, we, the what? <laughs> How much do you weigh? Um, eighty-five. Eighty-five. Yeah. I'm about the same. <laughs> Uh, no, is... How did you get to Cape Town? Tell us that story. How did you land up creating your product here uh, in Cape Town? Because these are made right here, right? Yeah. Well, okay. My parents are actually originally from South Africa, so we come back here a fair bit. And my we but we all live in Australia now, and we came over in April 2020 uh, because my sister was going to get married in the Kruger. So we're gonna come on a family trip and I decided to come over a little bit earlier and explore and enjoy Cape Town as, as you do. But I, I came over a little too early, the pandemic hit, my parents got the last flight back to Australia and then my, yeah, well my brother was here as well but he got a uh, repatriation flight but I, I got stuck here and it's been here since. And then. I was meant to do a huge launch and kickstart and everything in Australia in 2020 and all these plans, but then, oh, that didn't really happen. And then we met, we met this person that ended up having a factory in Cape Town and everyone was having tough times. And so we decided just to work together and then we got, we ended up, it just ended up happening. It was, it was amazing. It was just like this. Yeah, really cool. Really cool story. I love that story. Uh, like it was just, yeah, I don't know. It was just because like I kept working, I kept talking about it. And then because you talk to the next person, the next person has an idea for you. And then this person has this contact. And then you just go end up, yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> An adventure. Hey, can I show you a secret beach? Yeah. I just Definitely. found it yesterday for the first time. Can uh, I go? Yes. Let's go. You! Woohoo! Okay, show me how to get off this thing. Yeah. Okay, we'll get we're actually getting off the last bike. We're getting out. It's super, bike. super comfortable. Every, everyone is always like, oh, I don't want to set it up, but setting up the easy part. When you set it up, it's easy. Then you get in, and then it's hard to get out. Okay. Uh, and the, the cool thing is, when you usually pack it up, you can leave all your stuff in it. Yeah. Um, like you can leave, or even um. When it's in towel mode, you just leave everything on it. But I'll I'll do it with everything on it. Whoa! That gave me a fright. <laughs> oh wow! You got off. <laughs> you. Okay, where are we this going? Is, we're going to the secret beach. All right. You. You can start filming. Film. Okay, show us your creativity. Show us whatever you want. How you see oh. the world. Ew. How do you see the world, bud? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> this is this this is this is the world. Oh, check, it holds the Chasing Africa water bottle. I'm gonna give you one of these. <laughs> yeah. I so he gave me a handbag. I'm going to give him a Chasing Africa Explorer pack. And this thing hasn't stopped moving. <laughs> <laughs> you can get this on chasingafrica.com. <laughs> Are you trying to rock it now, or is this just mo moment? <laughs> That's crazy. It's just rocking. It's quite fun, actually. It's, it's, it's an ab workout. It's really cool. Um, what? When when you do set up on Dude. on <laughs> on trees, yeah, these are a bit thick, but the tree. The random products that uh, I've been working on. Ten and other products. What are they? <laughs> this is my high school. Shout out to Camp Spay High. My school. Yeah, a cool, cool school. I couldn't go. I to used school. to run around the school. Sprint. You get too distracted. Like how do you do anything? Like you just stare at the, everything else all day rather than doing schoolwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculously distracting. Um, but the other, yeah. So, so one of the things I've been working on is a jacket, and the factory that's making the handbags at the moment specialise in jackets. And the day they started making it, they were like. By the way, 
yeah, we um, we do this. And I'm like, oh, that's sick. I've got an idea for a jacket. And I sent him the drawing and he's like, yes. That's it. So now we've like uh, drawn up a concept design for that. And it's currently the prototype name for it's the Jankit. Like, oh, I like, oh, love or, that. Or jacket, like jacket, like not a jacket. jacket. Um, but like it ends in K I T, so it's like kit. Okay. Um, and it's like, who put that there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's yeah. Dude, stand on that log right there. <laughs> Sponsored by Crocs and handbag. Yeah. <laughs> Chasing Africa 2021. You. <laughs> this is my one. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dylan. Yeah. I just want to introduce you to this guy, Dylan, entrepreneur. Yep. Oh shit. Far better. No, I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be. <laughs> shit. Far better. Oh shit. <laughs> 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 Dude, shit. <laughs> oh, this is a cool little. Legit, just like old. Yeah, I was here yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna take you on the tour I went on yesterday. It's a little hike. It's my Clifton hike. And today we're doing it with a handbag pro. <laughs> with Chasing Africa. Okay, we got a mask up. Straight up? No, you're gonna take a left. You gotta get on the other side of the road. Okay, we gotta go we gotta cross now. How's it? Shit, run! Oh I want some pizza. Okay, you, you have to enter the Clifton portal. No, oh, I know. I, I was going to stick your slap on that. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that there? Yeah. Come on, guys. Scandals. Oh. It actually looks like Wait, and then ass. On the side. <laughs> Who did that? You want to. <laughs> Come on, guys. You can't be doing this. I love it, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's the Glen Beach. Dude, we gotta run if we were, we're gonna catch those that spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I can run. Okay. No, I mean, it, dude, it, Let's see what it's like to run. <laughs> Ooh, that beach looks amazing. That's Glen Beach. Yeah. So the surf is at, but I'm gonna take you to a, this awesome beach that I found yesterday. It's the first time I've been there. It's really cool. How's it be? <laughs> okay, how's this battery? Let's see how long this battery can last. How, how long what? Oh. Let's see how long this battery can last. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty much been filming the whole time, hasn't it? Yeah. You never know what's gonna happen. Never know what's gonna pass you by. <laughs> so you just gotta document it. <laughs> and then share it with the world. <sighs> See you later. Yeah, because people don't know how to check this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they look at it and they're like, oh, I'm just go in. Like, <laughs> it, it's crazy. I've, I've been, I went to the airport and they had to go through my bag for it. And I wanted to do the demo. I'm like, guys, let me show you. Go ahead. They're like, you can't touch the bag, sir. I'm like, yeah, you're like, you haven't looked at all the pockets yet. <laughs> and I was like, I need to help you. Like, I need to open it. <laughs> so that, that is the thing. And then, yeah, like how you were trying to find ruffle through it. There is a lot of seeds and stuff. But when you get used to it, um, 
it gets easier but the easiest way from that is like go from the outside in like it's like almost like toothpaste because it's, it's like a sack it has everything in there you can just like find what you need <laughs> and and like there's no this is i think i like it like like a, um it's people like you need a zip you need secure I'm like this but there is the velcro on the side so nothing's gonna come out of the side and the only way is out through the top here and when you're skating you don't need to undo your zipper you just go through be a little bound oh, it's it's it is just crazy it's it's such a <laughs> you end up loving it more and more because it's just crazy how much it can hold how secure it is and like how there's a video of me putting um water bottles in it during lockdown and i get 35 liters in it and like just of water bottles like <laughs> the first... it's crazy it is so crazy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. How crazy! Oh yeah, how crazy was it? Like, there's, there's, there's like there was so many out here. Which, there was like ten or something, or even I think fourteen is what we found. <laughs> See out to Hilux. A nice bungalow. Would you buy it? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess. And have it. Here's here's a crazy fun fact. My my family is really randomly. It's more of a family bush than a family tree. But my mum's side, my dad and father. So my bro, my brother. I've also got three brothers. Um, but my mum's dad used to own this place. This place here. Yeah, and then he now the owners of shop, and then a Your grandfather. Mom's dad. Yeah, the grandfather. They used to own this place. Yeah, uh, and then back in this is back like in 1960s or whatever, and then they sold it because he got in like he's a debt and like he's a gambling problem or something, and then now the owners of Shoprite apparently. They are now. Yeah, they own it now. And they own another one of these and they have a connection underneath the ground that these houses are connected what? under the ground. Yeah. Apparently, apparently these are stories I've been told by my parents. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's like because they can't do something where they can't make the houses bigger on top, so they went underground. Okay. I don't know. But and, and wow. yeah. Look at that. So this is the house. Yeah. It. And my brother used to tell me stories about how they used to swim here and get crayfish and like oh. all this crazy shit. I was like, crayfish, what? Yeah, good time. Yeah, and put crayfish out there. But I don't know, I still don't know what these are. Why are these here? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Let's go for a dip. Yeah. This one. This has quite become quite the tourist trap. <laughs> yeah. mm. And the rock, the rock that's over there. Yeah. You can see all the people on it even real, like all the people on the rock. Oh yeah, the rock on top of the hill. Yeah. That's where I want to live one day. Oh yeah, you were saying chasing Africa HQs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah. Oh, it seems like we're in a movie or like a fairy tale book. Like, what is even this? <laughs> it's like, it's just every time it just baffles me. You can just, it's like four things you can look at endlessly. It's like stars, a fire, mountains, and the ocean. And then you're constantly in the mountains and ocean here. It's just you know, literally. Oh, thank you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you, you jump in over there? Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> yeah, the crux. Good <laughs> <laughs> girl.
Oh shit. <laughs> Don't wanna film random people. <laughs> This is my new happy place. Yeah. I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is so good. This is so good. I haven't seen this many people here though. I know. Have you been here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is where you jump in for the swim at the end of the, the run. Yeah. You too. It's not as deep, but it's more tranquil. You can jump into the, onto the sand just there. It's like knee slash very thigh deep. Okay, show us, show us, show us. Okay, wait, wait, I need it. I need it. Oh. And take this off. It's the handbag pro. Facing Africa edition. There's only 15 of these available by the way. Only 15. They will never be made again. It's exclusive. Alright. I'm gonna swim now. Pro. You Dude, you got some art in your bag. <laughs> yeah. You. Yo. Should That's I jump, amazing. Should I jump in? Jump in. I'm gonna try and do it with my guy. I hope I caught that. This place oh. is amazing. It's not cold. Stay in, stay in. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's rather rough. Refreshing. Oh, but I, I found a warm spot right here. Oh, it's a warm spot. Oh, I, I made that warm spot. Let me the camera. Welcome to the end on the way back. Don't step on any court. <laughs> <laughs> he drives a whip off people. Oh, the water is so good for you. <laughs> that ice cold water just gets your body tingling. Makes you feel like you're alive. Oh, let me get a photo. Hold on. My new favorite beach is called Clifton 0.5 because. Actually, it's Clifton 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is Clifton Cliff. It's a secret beach that you've never heard about, and we just discovered it. Yeah, it's big Cliff Clifton. <laughs> Clifton Cliff. Yeah. I've never seen a uh, hashtag that's Clifton Cliff, and this is it. It's a bit rocky, no sand here. But uh, the water is wonderful. It's like an ice cold bath. Super still, the water is like glass. Come under with me. You ready? Three. Two, one, go. Yeah. This is chipped and fish. And this cat needed a wash. Came to wash it in the ice cold water. And tell us your story, mate. Like. Wait. Turn the camera around. Show the wall. Wait. Show everyone the wall. <laughs> this is. Oh. Alright. I can open the. 
Oh, I can open the handbag. Yeah, open that handbag. There's all the cool stuff in the world. Is that waterproof? Well, it's, it's the waterproof exterior. It's super protected from water. Are you going to make the waterproof one? Well, it's a towel, so... I mean... But it's 100% waterproof. <laughs> but how could a towel be waterproof? I don't know. <laughs> how can you make that waterproof? Well, I, I guess it's like water... Uh, water... Uh, water... <laughs> no, I think that's awesome. This is the first one. Why did you get up there? <laughs> well, that's a good thing. <laughs> like you can see how um. Handbag, Daisy Africa. So warm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Look at this thing. GoPro, stop recording. The first video that I made on YouTube got like 30,000 videos or something. Uh, it's a music video of the first century, which is an Aussie rapper. Uh, it's called Room for Rent. <laughs> To the mansion where the rats are rampant, cracks in the bus to the car, but hasn't been vacuumed here for at least the last 10 years. The idea is so hard to imagine. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty funny. Pretty funny video, and it was it's not like official or anything, it's just because it's about uni lifestyle, and I was at uni at the time, and I I just filmed over the course of a year, like nothing was planned, I just filmed random days, and we ended up making this crazy. Yeah, the, the crazy video, <laughs> which, yeah, which ended up getting really popular <laughs> randomly. Yeah, so. Hey, what's up? Wow, look at this view. Or is that just, do they build onto that? Like, cause, yeah, that's, that's like uh, that, someone's house. That's fence, right? They don't own that technically. I have no idea how it works. Because that's a hammock spot. <laughs> and the insane <laughs> hammock spot. <laughs> Please go set up your hammock over there. Even. There's like four hammocks, five hammocks. Dude, go, go do it quickly. We don't have much light. Yeah, see if you can do it. I know. I, I can definitely do. It. I can definitely do. It. I'll, I'll come back in the morning. It's like when I okay. Um, and when it's the cool shot. But is this this is this is your squad? Let's see. This is cool. Yeah. I just wouldn't want to fall down there. That's the fucking destination. Fuck. Woo. Fuck, you go down there. Not a good idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the water's so clear today. That's crazy. Like, you can see it now. Sean, <laughs> 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 I don't know how to do it. <laughs> People always tell me that I shouldn't do that with my hand. Dude, but that's who you are. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, dude? 
chilling. Just enjoying, guys. It's too beautiful. Where are you from? Uh, Germany. Where are you guys from? From Cape Town. Cape Town. Australia. Where are you from? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> vacation? Just chilling? Uh, for a year. Yeah? A, yeah. A long vacation though. Yeah, well, a forced vacation. <laughs> COVID. COVID. Oh, COVID. It's in March. Yeah which is like a few days away but Australia I can't get back in I've had eight flights cancelled I physically can't get to Australia so now <laughs> yeah but we might be lucky again if it's going to be extended at the Friday I think there are rumors that it might be extended again really what date Friday yeah that's crazy if you're lucky enough how do you how do you get these rooms like I don't know how to I've been trying how's to it going someone. like what do I do because I can't get back, I can't do it in <laughs> Oh, gyrocopter. Film it, film it. Can you see? No, there's no way. It's like a... Um, oh, that's a really cool stick. The, yeah, because when you set up on trees, so a good rule of thumb is trees as thin as your wrist should be able to hold you up. No thinner, right? Oh, wow. Uh, and it's crazy. And then when the trees are that thin, you it's really good in windy wind or not windy but breezy conditions because then you can feel the sway of the trees and like if you're on two different trees then the trees are blowing individually and you're rocking with the trees and it is so hypnotic like you know how just rocking is there imagine two trees rocking you to sleep it is cr you'll fall asleep in sec and like, looking under stars and if you have a bonfire blow you on the beach like it just keeps getting it's crazy this is some like i wake up to that sometimes in like Australia on our road trips, what? like where when we came with our fingers, we would sleep on the beach, like in havocs, and then you'd wake you up and you're like, that? yeah, yeah. I did. I, I would you sleep here? I've slept on the mountain a few times. Like I've. You have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I would love to do that. Yeah, I, I, there's like, have you been to Wally's cave? And um, there's another cave up there. I've done that around there, but I've, I, I want to do table mountain. You could easily do it. Why don't we go travel the whole country, sleeping in hammocks? Yeah. Well, that was my plan. That's what I was going to do. Uh, <laughs> call that chasing Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can get a few more tribe members. Yeah. 100 percent. Especially going by um, hostels and stuff. Like every time I go to hostel and like handbag comes up, like I, we instantly build a crew that night. That's like, oh yeah, let's go I'll rent a car this week, and, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's so excited. But. Especially if you feel the ambition with uh, motivation and actually get the charisma to do it the next day. <laughs> that, would, that would be good. But no, yeah, I, that was my plan. Like my plan is, yeah, to start going up the trip and like I, I do like a two day, uh, either three, two day hostel, one day hammock is my trick. Cause then it's 30%, you save 30% or I'll do like multiple days hammock depending if there's like that's kind of my um, maximum I'll stay in hostels and then I try and do more days hammock um, because there's better weather or if it's rainy then you can stay more days inside or if you're in a town you want to check town like or like sometimes you get like go to the hostel find the hostel find the cool spot to chill and everything and then stay in the hammock find, and, and you find the town find everything about the place and then you go and spend the next three nights <laughs> in your hammock around around the area which is which is really cool, really good way to save money. That's that's how I was saving money until Pierre uh, uh, humbly lent me his couch. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think we should go. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna pack this up. No, I mean I think we should go do a, a trip. Yeah. And kind of do do all of the stuff. Yeah. So show me how to take the stuff off. Okay, well it's just a button here, right? Um, and this is the bottle opener here, so oh, we need to demo that later. Um, okay, well, we'll, I'll fold, I'll fold this up. So I'll fold it up standing up. It's easier on the ground. And the cool thing about when you fold it up on the ground is you can chuck all, like if it's a towel, you can chuck all your stuff on it and then you fold it in half and then you can start folding it up and, um, then boom, all your stuff's already packed and good to go. Like awesome. You, 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 you kind of just, so you fold it in half, sensitive then. It's, it's, in, it's in five sections and there's four of these loops and then that's it. That's like all, of, all the difficulty you need to know. And you just like clip these carabiners onto the loop.
this again, imagine this on the ground. And these four loops on here. Or two loops, I mean, two loops on here. I love that t-shirt. Where did you get it? Uh, my brother. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Your brother? Yeah, he, my brother, he just was going to throw it away. And I was like, no, I want, I want it. <laughs> it's a such a cool t-shirt. It's a Banksy. I see the Banksy. It's a... <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it. That's, and then from here, you can turn it into the uh, a backpack or a single strap bag. So, with a single strap bag. It'd go from here to where we ended up with the other straps up there. Oh wait, the straps. So there's these straps, so you use these straps to either turn into a backpack mode by attaching it. By attaching it to the back of the bag, like that, or you can just use one of the straps. To go around. Hey, stand on that side? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. Okay, now we got some light. So you can, should I, should I do it? No, that's cool. Okay, yeah. So, or you can turn to a single strap. Bag. That's my old high school, Camp Spare High. You can. This is actually one way how I've been wearing it a lot recently. It's just putting one strap in, but mm -hmm. you can just equally use the other strap on the other side. But when you put one strap in, it's really nice to skate. Because then you have it here, you can put your yeah. phone in here and everything, and because one side, one uh -huh. side shorter than that yeah, side, it cool. hangs on this side, so it's like really good to skate. <laughs> <laughs> and you're skating, you got all your stuff here. And then before, you can use that as protection. Oh, right, yeah, no, definitely. Have padded pads. <laughs> I actually, I just, when you skate and you have a backpack on, I don't know if, you, if this ever happens, it really sucks. Everything comes over, flies over. But if you ever have a um, side bag on and you're skating, it saved me multiple times. I'll hit something, and instead of the bag throwing you off the board, this will swing, counterbalance me, and somehow like help me over the bump. Uh -huh. And have it hanging a hanging bag rather than a backpack when <laughs> skating specifically it will like but but then again if you're skating a lot then sliding with the hanging bag isn't great. Uh and then that's when I turn into like a backpack mode. Uh nice. Straps. Yeah. Cool, let's show them the backpack mode at the beach. Oh yeah. We're gonna go catch the sunset at the beach. Okay, see you there.